Number 13. Complete each of the following equations by adding the missing species. And it seems like the missing species for this one is this question mark right here. So we have plutonium, which is 239 and 94 atomic number, plus something will get me this weird element. I don't even know what CM is, um, but we're just going to keep going, right? 242 with a 96 and plus one neutron. Letter N for neutron here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to try to find this question mark, but I don't want to solve for that. I want to solve for the three pieces, right? Generally speaking, with all nuclei notation, we need some lettering, and then you have a number on the top and you have a number on the bottom. Now, when you're trying to solve for the missing piece, right, which is, ooh, let's get out of white, which is this, the easiest way is to look at that arrow as an equal sign. And we're going to do each individual piece uh, separately. So let's work with the tops first. So maybe I'll say top. So all the top numbers, I have a 239. And a 239 is coming together plus with the unknown. We'll label it as X, right? And that should equal 242 plus 1. 242 plus number one, because that's the neutron. So let's see, 239 plus X, because that's what we're trying to solve for, equals 242 plus one. We can combine these, right? 242 plus one is a 243. So maybe we'll just write that down on the bottom. 239 plus X equals 243. And now, ooh, this is crazy, right? Because we got to we got to subtract 239s and minus 239. So what do we get? This is going to cancel out. And 239, 240, 241, 243, 2, 243, that's 4. So we have an x equals a 4. And that goes on the top. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing for the bottoms. We're going to start off with a 94 plus who, so that's going to be the X now, equals 96 plus a 0. So let's write that out. we got a bottom. we got 94 plus X, that's who we're solving for, equals 96 plus 0. Well, anything plus zero is just goes bye-bye, right? So 94 plus X equals 96. Well, I would just need to add two. And that's the number that goes on the bottom. And now, to know who this is, right, all we have to do is take the atomic number, which is always the bottom number. So we use the bottom number as the atomic number, to see who we have going on here um, for our element, because every element has its own unique atomic number. It's the whole number, right? So three, four, five, six, we have to find number two. And number two is right here. It's the helium. And this one is actually very um, special because a helium four on the top, two on the bottom is an alpha particle. So you could have put a H E or you could have put a alpha. Um, either one would be acceptable. And that is the final answer. So we're adding a helium here and there you go. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to helping you in more questions. We have memberships now on the channel, so if you want to help the channel out a little bit more and you want more perks, uh, check it out. Um, thank you so much for considering, and that's all for me. I hope you have a great day. Always keep studying hard. I'm rooting for you, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, bye-bye.